Hi guys. So in this lesson, I'll talk about how to add a new network card into your virtual machine. There might be a requirement that you need to have two interfaces, two network cards or two network interfaces in your virtual machine. Now, one typical example, this happens in Oracle Rack where you have multiple networks. One would be public network, one would be a private network. So you communicate to the VM via two different networks. By default, one network card is allocated when you create the virtual machine, but you can even add further network cards and I'll show you one more example over here where you will learn how to add a new uh, network card, how to assign an IP address to new network card and how it works. So I'll just right click and go to settings and over here you can see this network. In this one, you can see adapter one is the default network card. That is one network card will be allocated by default and it should be in bridged adapter mode. Uh, and VirtualBox actually allows you to have four network cards. Four is like a, a max. Uh, and I, I don't think you will ever use above three network cards. So go to adapter two, enable the network adapter. Make sure this is also in bridged adapter mode, right? After that, click on advance. And in the advance, you have to copy this MAC address because we have to give this MAC address inside the virtual machine once you start the operating system. So this is something you just copy and click on OK. Now start the machine. So how the activity flow looks like for adding a network card is again very simple. First, you need to add network card at VM level. That's the first thing. Then second is you have to copy the MAC address, right? And third one is add new network interface in CentOS. So once our VM is up, I'll show you how we are going to add this new interface into the CentOS. So it's almost up and running. Okay, so it's taking a little time today. Right, so we'll go with not listed, give the username as root, password as root at the rate one, two, three. Log into the server. And the way we have actually uh, edited the first network, the same way we have to edit the network, we actually have to add a new network interface in the server. So click on this one, uh, you see this arrow. And then, uh, okay, in this, uh, operating system, you can see automatically it has picked up the two network interfaces. So click on the first one um, and you can go to the settings so, and you can turn it off. You have the second interface as well. So we'll check the settings of the second interface. So uh, this is the first one actually. Can you see this uh, ENP OS3, this is 192.168.0.93. That was the IP address which we have allocated earlier. And over here, you can see we have the new interface which automatically acquired this IP address 192.168.0.53. That's a dynamic allocation. Okay. Now, in case if it does not pick up automatically, you can click on add profile. Okay, and then you can add your own uh, new uh, network interface card over here. All right. So I think uh, with this uh, CentOS 7 version, you don't really need to add a new network interface. You uh, it will automatically pick it up. Uh, you generally tend to add a new interface with the uh, version 5 or 6 of the CentOS. I think this is the new feature. You don't really have to add the network interface, it will pick it up. Now, let's take you want to change the IP address, uh, click on this gear icon, and then you go to the IPv4 
uh, you choose this as manual and then depending on whatever your networking team is giving you the IP address you can allocate those IP addresses to this network card so this is a very simple way in order to add a new network card to your virtual machine first you have to add the network interface at uh, virtual machine level and then you generally tend to add the uh, network card interface in the OS but with the CentOS 7 you don't need to add it it will pick it up automatically 